Kendrick Lamar made a song, and in the song he talked about uh, the Heart Part Five. It's a good song. I love it. Um, what he talking about is something that we all know, though. Like culture is what we sell, but the reality is in America, black people from America, we our culture is trauma. Black people in America have been traumatized for centuries to the point where that's all we know. You know, like learning, unlearning the trauma that we've been deal that we've been dealing with, unlearning that, and then relearning how to just be an individual, relearning how to build communities, relearning how to build a family. That stuff not easy to do. That shit ain't easy to do at all. Most people don't even understand that they've been traumatized. Because people think because they come from a good family or because their parents had money or because they didn't have to go without electricity for a summertime or they had to go without heat in the wintertime that they come from, that they had a good life. But we've all been traumatized. And we've been so, and our trauma has been sold to the whole world. They make fun of us. The world make fun of us for our trauma. Well, up until maybe four or five years ago when everybody started realizing how the cops just shoot and kill black people and just lock up black people for nothing. And the fact that that's only just now starting to be exposed, but that's been happening since the 1800s. That's been happening really six to six to sixteen hundreds. But since the 1800s, motherfuckers been free, quote unquote. But you can get locked up for being homeless. So you're not really free. Because if you're free, you can roam and go anywhere your home is your body. But you can be locked up and imprisoned for being homeless. You see what I'm saying? So this is these was the rules that were set up. This is how we only have trauma to sell. This is the reason why. Because when you have people who that's what our background is, that's what our origins are in the, in the country of America, in the Americas, we fuck from the beginning. We are rotten. Our roots are fucked from the beginning. So... Yeah, he gonna talk about the culture being not really being culture. It's not really a culture. It's really trauma. We we're selling the world our traumatization, and we hoping that people help us. That's really what we hoping for. We really making that shit and saying, please come save us, motherfuckers in the United States that go all over the world. White folks in the United States go all over the world trying to free people, and it's not really freeing people. They not really freeing motherfuckers. What they doing is they setting up democracy, and they call it freedom. So they got everybody in the world convinced that America is this great place. But when you come to America and you deal with the shit that you got to deal with in America, if you're not a white person, you fucked. And the reality is, even if you don't think that way now, maybe it's not that way. I left America in 2011. So maybe I'm wrong. I left America in 2011. But when I left, it was a whole bunch of shit that was wrong with the place. And I saw a whole bunch of writing on the wall and he told me I need to leave this place. If I'm ever going to mature and become who I need to become in order to build a family or be something great I had to leave I've tried to convince my family to leave too it's not a good place to live if you're a black person and even if they just now making it so you know you get some leeway or you get some leverage in some ways that's only recent and that's only surface level because the bank's never going to give back the money that they that they made off your back the insurance company's never going to give back the money that they made from insuring your your body your, your grandparents and great great grands get um, their bodies just transported over here. You, you know what I'm saying? Like the cotton company is never going to give back the money that they made from the proceeds from all this all of the labor that went into those fields that came out them fields. They never going to give back that money. They never going to give back the politicians who grew and and, and gained uh, who gained uh, power and gained um, you know fortune through all of the laws that they wrote to destroy your community. They never going to rewrite those laws or abolish them. They're never going to redo the Constitution to make you not a not to, to make you a full person. They had to amend the Constitution to make you a full person on paper, and then they got to redo every couple of years. They got to reaffirm your right to vote as a human in America, black people. They got to reaffirm your vote. They got to recast a vote to make sure it's still legal for you to vote. So how fucked up is that? And we keep and we and motherfuckers are sitting right here arguing about this and that. Motherfuckers arguing, arguing about a dude on the internet giving his opinion on women and men. Women is out here, <laughs> like y'all celebrating the death of a black man because of his opinion and calling it karma. Y'all calling a black man dying of a heart attack a karma. So if his death is karma, then Trayvon Martin's death is karma. Tamir Rice's death is karma. Amadou Diallo's death was karma. Sandra Bland's death was karma Like if you talk about all of these people If his death is karma Then everybody else's death is karma Who died in America Because they all died in the same way Surviving 
trying to survive in America. Motherfucker was, you don't have to like his opinion, but as a black man in America trying to survive, and he found a way to gain fortune or gain fame and do what he had to do to survive. The same way any of y'all do. The motherfuckers disrespect yourselves every day. Y'all allow people to disrespect you every day. And you then you and then you and then you shit on a person for having the audacity to follow what their dreams and what their plan is and just give his opinion. But y'all give your opinions. You don't think somebody you like for the shitty opinions you got, you don't think you do you think you deserve to die as your karma? For your shitty opinion Anybody who got a bad opinion They just Their karma should be deaf That's what you say Like that's crazy to me But you see Again I can't even get mad at y'all Because we all Broken people We all broken people And we live in a culture That's not really A culture It's It's a deaf cult That we are born And raised into And that's why they tell us It's okay to live fast And die young the movies that they give us to make heroes out of All of the people in the movies die young The black movies that we have taken and used As um, stereotypes or archetypes In the neighborhoods that we come from All of them die young Or they go to jail young It's all fucked up These are the stereo- This is the nihilism that we growing up um, Taking in And you gotta unlearn all of that Just to make yourself a whole person again You don't even get to be born free You, get, you have to be born um, and you have to be born in chains mentally, and you gotta and you gotta be able to see through the motherfucking bars. Most people can't even they don't even realize that they're in a prison mentally. You don't even realize it. Most people don't. So we going through all of this shit, and the reality is, all we got to do is talk about it. And once the people start talking about it, you disagree with my opinion, you are gonna think I should die because of that. That's crazy to me. The reality is, ain't no point in me saying, well, we need to do better. Nah, what we need to do is heal. Fuck doing better. Doing better is uh, is, a, is, a, is a euphemism. No, you need to heal yourself. You need to find a way to deal with some of this shit. It's part. You can do part healing. You can do um, time change or you can do um, timeline healing. You can do quantum change. You can do it so many it's, it's things. I don't know, cord cutting. There's so many different ways of, of figuring out who you are and what's wrong with you and how you can better that part. So when you start doing better, figure out what it is that you need to fix. Talk, write that shit down. Get a therapist, but do something. We can't keep sitting around just making these crazy statements about each other and then thinking that it's okay and then calling it culture and then trying to defend it and gatekeep it. We defend it and gatekeep in death. Like we really defend it again. And even at the smallest level, if that's the smallest level, hey man, listen, a nickel bag sold in the park, I want in. It's the smallest thing. It don't matter how small it is, what the uh, small amount is, the increment. It don't matter. The spirit in it is part of it. It's part and parcel. It's all death. All of it. And it's fucked up. And we need to get away from it as far as we can. That's why I say, man, black people need to leave America. Either leave America or, or, or congregate into one area and form your own constitution and form your own state, form your own two or three states. Somewhere where you make the money and you control the agriculture, you control the hospitals, you control the bank, you control the infrastructure, you control the economic system, you control the social system, you control the courthouse, you control the judge house, you control the state house, you control the state senate, you control the state uh, 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 legislature, you control all of that. But until we have that, you don't have anything. We have a death cult that we all are a part of, that we all adhere to from from the small, smallest, my, most minute part to the most active gang member part, part. You know what I'm saying? We all part of it. Be, and because nobody is working to actively undo it, working to unravel that, that sweater that's, that's wrapping us around, that, that, un, that sweater that's keeping us wrapped up warm in this American uh, exceptionalism, which is what a lot of people in America still have. Even the black folks who've been fucked over. We got American exceptionalism. We still think America is the greatest place on earth. No matter how fucked up and bad America has been to us. Get away from that thinking. Get away from that thinking. That, that will kill your whole f- time. That will kill your whole bloodline. Thinking like that. Thinking that America is the greatest country in the world. And then thinking that America is the greatest country in the world. And you as a black person still getting treated like shit in America. That will destroy your bloodline. So...